another empathy. <coughs> we might be soldiers and yet not know it. Untrained as yet, yet what might the training be? Violence perhaps not needed, not needed at all. Only toil and bravery. The cities we sit in cement or sand, fertile or to be fertile. But if we all will be heroes, each a comrade, none an enemy, what is the slope and peak of our co-climbing, of our gamely help each other mutuality, what is or would be? How we climb before and fallen, is the scent this time for real? Are there degrees of already being wounded, levels of having fallen, depths of possibilities of depths to fall, intensities as yet to help a one, a two, a many up, diversities as yet of individual determination? What if life, some hot, has caused the bringing down and all the hurt and crush of falling? <clears throat> Yet life somehow must cause the bringing up, <clears throat> the healing and untangling in the rise. And we, each one, our life, multiply villains, multiply heroes, then and then and now and now. Might this have been and be now a mutual mountain and the climb, the call to a mutual fate and heroism in the willingness, though yet aware or aware not yet of the agony and necessity of the glory of the climb? <laughs> Spontaneous. Neither guessing to be a fish, till together creating an ocean. <laughs> All right. Uh, a year ago um, in uh, W Magazine, Scarlett Johansson uh, did a pictorial number on uh, some uh, performers of past times, including Sarah Bernhardt, dressed as a clown in white. So I wrote, Romance. Rich shadows haloed behind my head. To what morrow would I present myself? Very elegant clown dressed in snow. Exuberant full sleeves more deep than danger. Relaxed at my wrist, light. Or maybe life flowing out of my fingers as I outward extended my arm. Song like truth only future would perceive. And though I'd smile with new gardens enriched with cities. And livings again exuberant takes on youth but crushes, games and dances filling them from the curves of my smiles to mix with the stage's streaming lights bright with a million Aprils and Junes. Still, in the brighter tears after tragedy's dissolvement, I would wish a brimming of a comic kind whose new ravishment laughs new verity into a theater's living mouth. <laughs> and finally, <clears throat> could um, turn both Irishly green and hilarious. <laughs> he, has, he doesn't even know what it's about. <laughs> Easy, pal. <laughs> <laughs> For the sake of the play, she might spirit one in the guise of saltiest, most lemon-like vixen, yet still cry backstage in darkness at the tragedy, and tell she loved me as I made her laugh, dressed as she was in flesh's poignancy, where comedy 
romancely tone leaps lightly with color, intercolored mist to pose and vanish, leaving post chord silence bright as any tear. Music, me, who were a group of them, this mixed quill tone? Characters, each mask melt capable for play sake and with ability as easily to cause me laughter. I, another blooming in their summer, music me, they fingerly to be in midst of, spectre smelling of a rose. Among them, time was play. Their space, a space designer's dreams of ways to let the light make unexpected entrances <coughs> to source reflected dance. <coughs> Summer flowers, I conclude, can see, as even richly they are seen, and alive, be life increasable. This I reflect as wise with the mixed drink of company, as bemused with the nothing substance of some dream descent which ladders further down than any corpse could go into the awareness dipping under death, into which any fairy creature would be shy to dive or fall or even throw another. Summer flowers, sprightly more than one made me laugh, and yet another in a backstage magic dimness said she loved me, dressing my frost with glimmer mutual with flesh's warmth and moisture, <coughs> making my distance pastoral and rich, <laughs> as if an iciness in human motion could turn both greenly Irish <laughs> and hilarious. <laughs>